Arthur C. Clarke's Mysterious World is a 13-part British television series looking at unexplained phenomena from around the world. It was produced by Yorkshire Television for the ITV network and first broadcast in September 1980. Each programme is introduced and book-ended by science fiction writer Arthur C. Clarke in short sequences filmed in Sri Lanka. The bulk of the episodes are narrated by Gordon Honeycomb. The series was produced by John Fanshawe and John Fairley, and directed by Peter Jones, Michael Weigel and Charles Flynn. It also featured a unique soundtrack composed by British artist Alan Hawkshaw. In 1980, Book Club Associates published a hardcover book with the same name, authored by Simon Welfare and John Fairley, where the contents of the show were further explored. It featured an introduction written by Clark as well as his remarks at the end of each chapter or topic. In 1985, a paperback of this book was released by HarperCollins Publishers. The series was followed by Arthur C. Clarke's World of Strange Powers in 1985 and Arthur C. Clarke's Mysterious Universe in 1994. <laughs> <laughs> DVD release In January 2008 the original series was released on DVD in the UK by Network and Granada. It features all of the 13 original episodes unedited and remastered. A collection DVD box set of all three Arthur C. Clarke documentary series, Arthur C. Clarke's Mysterious World, Arthur C. Clarke's World of Strange Powers and Arthur C. Clarke's Mysterious Universe was released in July 2013 by Visual Entertainment, which also re-released them separately in September 2013. Episodes Topic <laughs> The Journey Begins The Second of September nineteen eighty This episode introduces the themes that are explored in the remainder of the series. Clark expounds on his categorization of mysteries, self-consciously aping the famous close encounters categorization used by some ufologist. Mysteries of the first kind, phenomena which were mysterious to our ancestors but are now well understood. Clark illustrates this category by observing the solar eclipse of February 16, 1980 from Hyderabad, India, highlighting the fact that eclipses are still treated with reverence and suspicion in some cultures. Mysteries of the second kind — phenomena which are as yet unexplained, but where we have several clues that hint at an answer. Clark looks at ball lightning including one sighting by Roger Jennison in the cabin of an aircraft, the Loch Ness Monster, Remy Van Leerd's encounter with a gigantic snake, a sighting of a sea serpent off the coast of England, the stone spheres of Costa Rica, the Baghdad Battery, the vitrified forts of Scotland, Stonehenge, and the Cerna Boss Giant. The ruined ancient palace of Siguria in Sri Lanka, which Clark mentions at the beginning of the episode, could also be included in this category. Mysteries of the third kind — phenomena for which we have no rational explanation. Clark mentions psychic phenomena as something that would be included in this category, and the extremely strange phenomena of raining animals and seeds and nuts. Raining from the sky might also be included. <inaudible> Monsters of the Deep 9 September 1980 Including the giant squid, giant octopus and megamouth shark. <inaudible> Ancient Wisdom 16 September 1980 
This show is concerned with technology from history that was either ahead of its time and subsequently forgotten, or artifacts which are mysteries in themselves. This includes the Baghdad Battery, where German scientist Arne Egebricht is shown electroplating a small silver statue with a gold cyanide solution and a replica of the battery using grape juice. There are also segments on the Antikythera mechanism including an interview with Derek J. de Sola Price, the stone balls of Costa Rica and the so-called Skull of Doom which dominates the opening credits of the series. Also included are the vitrified stone forts of Scotland including Tap o Noth near Aberdeen. Clark opines at the end that had some of these forgotten technologies been developed and not lost that we would have colonized the stars by now. Topic: The Missing Ape Man the 23rd of September 1980. This episode is divided equally between considering evidence for the Bigfoot and Yeti. Interviewees for the segment on the Yeti include Don Willens, Lord Hunt and Eric Shipton. Lengthy consideration is given to the Patterson-Gimlin film, and interviewees include Grover Krantz, who demonstrates several casts of alleged Bigfoot tracks that he feels bolsters his belief that the creature represents a relative of Gigantopithecus. Clark concludes that, although Russian scientists who studied the Patterson-Gimlin film declared the stride to be quite inhuman, special effects used in the 1968 movie 2001, A Space Odyssey showed that it is possible to create very convincing ape men. He also notes that it would be very difficult for a creature such as Bigfoot to remain undetected in North America. Topic: Giants for the Gods, the 30th of September 1980. About the Cerna boss giant, Nazca lines, and others. Topic: Monsters of the Lakes, the 7th of October 1980. Including Nessie, Ogopogo. Topic: The Great Siberian Explosion, the 14th of October 1980. This episode investigated the cause of the Tunguska event. The program concluded that the explosion was caused by the impact of a comet fragment or other ice-rich body that exploded above the ground. The reasons given for this were the fact that there was no crater as might be expected had a stony or iron object been involved and the heightened levels of rare earth elements discovered in the devastated environment afterwards. The Riddle of the Stones 21 October 1980 Newgrange and other megalithic structures, such as Stonehenge, Avebury. Topic: <laughs> Out of the Blue, the 28th of October 1980. Discussing ice falls, frog falls, raining animals, etc. Equals 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 UFO. S the fourth of November nineteen eighty equals 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 including the Robert Taylor incident and an interview with Kenneth Arnold. Topic Dragons, Dinosaurs and Giant Snakes the eleventh of November nineteen eighty Including Michele M. Bembe, Giant Anaconda, Amaranthropoides loisi, as well as sightings and excavations of animals such as the moa and the woolly mammoth. Also interviews with Roy Mackel and James Powell. Topic: <laughs> Strange Skies, the 18th of November 1980. 
including lost planets such as Vulcan, the Martian canals, the identity of the Star of Bethlehem etc. Clark's Cabinet of Curiosities 25 November 1980 A collection of unrelated subjects and a summing up, including the sailing stones of Death Valley, the Alma, entombed toads, ball lightning in which physicist James Tuck appears, and a summing up. See also In Search of